Hello folks and welcome back to Hackett's Quarry and here we see the lovely old uh, freaking what is it fortune teller's face oh when last we left off Nick got attacked and we ended up having to try and save the rotary arm for the car could that have been the best course of action who knows but we were reluctant in attacking the big fellow I'm pretty sure they're not there to hurt the kids they're there for something else. But what? Let's find out. It was horrible. It was... It, it was... I, I, I don't even know what it was. It was so fast and, and there, was a, uh, there was a hunter and it was just... Oh, Abby. Here. What? Oh, try drawing. Drawing what? Oh, can you draw what attacked you? Nick. Hey, buddy. Can you tell me what those guys did to you? Guys did? He's super out of it. Yeah. The, the, the hunter. Uh, yeah. There was a guy. But there was something else. Some kind of animal. What oh. kind of animal? No, no, I only saw a dude trying to take him away. He's probably just disoriented, that's all. The dude was massive and angry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Abby? Yeah, hey, she, hey, she's okay, dude. She's right over there. Because teeth were on top of me. I think it was a bear. Full-size bear would have crushed him. There's no way. I thought we don't get bears right here. No, uh, oh, fuck. Look at that. Oh, fuck. shit. That black stuff? That's that's infection. That's And it's, it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. Don't touch it. Ryan. We should amputate. We should cut it off before the infection spreads. Why would we do that? I don't know, man. Look at that plaque stuff. What, what do you think it is? Do I look like a doctor? God. This ain't a zombie flick. I mean, I don't even know what I saw. Holy shit. Fuck. Hey! Got a gun! And I know how to use it! Sort of. Ryan, what if it's Jacob or Emma? What if it's not? Be careful. It was probably nothing. Yeah. But is it gone? Yeah, you better run. Very brave. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Lodge is sounding pretty good right about now, yeah? There's nothing to shoot. Wait, no, 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 no. Don't shoot, don't shoot. Oh, God. I'm here to save you. Holy shit. Nick. Is he okay? Nick and Abby were attacked. In the woods. Hey, does anybody have any dry clothes? I'm, I'm fucking freezing. All our bags are still in the minivan. Oh, fuck, of course they are. Jacob. 
Where's Emma? Oh, fuck! Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, I, I left Emma on the island, and I told her I'd be right back. Ouch. Wait, the island? Yeah, why? Well, no, I just... I just thought I saw someone over there before. Someone? Oh, God. No, I, you know, I, I don't know. It's, it's probably nothing. I left her out there alone. Well, I think we're gonna head to the lodge. Also, why are you covered in what I hope is strawberry jelly? Oh, yeah, no, um, I'm pretty sure it's blood. It was this guy with like, um, he had like a bottle. Thing. I don't know, dude, it's like a really long story. <laughs> Ew. Just... Yeah, no, it's super fucked up. Oh, and Jesus Christ, I can't believe I haven't told you this yet. I, I saw a fucking body in the lake. Like, a dead one? Nah, mate. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, one of the one of the swimmers from the varsity swim team, he got lost on the way to practice, and it was... Yes, a dead one, dumbass. Of course you did, Jacob. No, for real, I did. I, I figured it must have been one of the counselors that didn't show up, but I couldn't tell, because it was like all, all bloaty and gross. Something's not right. Gotta go get Emma. Uh, excuse me. Hey, I need this, okay? It's not safe out there. Dude, we gotta protect Nick and Abby. Yeah, and I need to save Emma, all right? She's out there alone. You don't even know if she's in trouble. You don't even know if you're in trouble. Are you trying to piss me off? No, I'm trying to save my girlfriend's life, asshole. Yeah, I don't think she's your girlfriend, dude. What? Get... Oh, fucking... What the fuck? Yeah, fucking stop! We're in a real mess here, guys. You're acting like pricks, both of you. Jacob, we're keeping this. Nick and Abby are injured. We need protection. There's someone around here. <laughs> Ryan! Sorry. This is bullshit. Make sure she's safe. If she's on the island, she's definitely fine. And what, risk another uh, run-in with Captain Deliverance? No thanks, okay? There's probably another boat by the zipline. Either way, I can make it to the island from there. Oh boy. We need to get back to the lodge. Try to get help. How? Nick can't walk properly. Yeah, I have an idea. The wheelbarrow. I've got a sneaky suspicion that we probably don't want Nick anywhere near us. Okay, let's see what tonight brings. Okay, here's a riddle for you. What's got two thumbs and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark? This fool, well, one thumb, one available thumb. And it was here, on a strange, uninhabited island, that this brave young soul found herself. Staring at the moon. Okay, full disclosure, I've suddenly found myself on a, a strange, tiny little island, all alone, with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's a treehouse over there. I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Because here's the thing, not that I want to go back because I don't, but even if I did, I can't because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. God, you know what, sorry, I'm bending. Well, explore bending. You know what, fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse, fellow explorers. Oh boy. Okay, we have access to a phone light. Very sensitive one. But still, here we go. Ooh, spooky. No prizes for guessing what these are. Can't say that I've used them. A little too au naturel for me, TBH. You know, I've never thought about where the waste goes. Oh. Oh, please, God, no. Okay, we're gonna just go ahead and ignore that. 
You went swimming in that. <laughs> Brilliant. I've got a sneaky suspicion that I'm going to miss something, but sure, that's fine. So this island is like oh, an unexcavated squirrel. part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man child. Is all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why? Why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? <sighs> oh, look. Insecure. Okay. A fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question Do I. Take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life? I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. Uh, let's go up. Okay, moving up in the world. Let's do this. Now you might notice the darling rustic vibes this walkway is radiating, and that's no accident. I don't know what y'all are doing with your walkways, but if you're not spending a full hour pulling a splinter out of a snotty kid's finger, don't you dare call it authentic. Don't worry, the kid was fine. I'm a good counselor, and what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Yeah, I'm... Uh, I mean, whatever that got Nick in the woods didn't kill him. Is it going to make him stronger? Oh, God. We're going up in the world. So what have we got up here, then? And is she going to keep stopping to talk into that bloody phone of hers? <laughs> Who knows? That is a pretty sight, though. Not going to lie. What are we going to see up here, then? I'm a little bit frustrated that I was only able to choose one of two cards. I wonder if the stars was the right one. This is where we're heading. Not too shabby. Well, literally is too shabby. But these views, oh man, you're going to blow your tops. There's also a zip line, which eh, I guess you can watch me crap my pants on that thing. What the hell? I'm here, aren't I? I'm going to carpe this DM so damn hard it won't know what hit it. First, we got to get there, and there's still so much to talk about. Uh, compassionate. I hope Abby's okay. She ran off earlier. If you didn't see it, I kind of sort of made out with Nick. But it was a dare. I'm not like a bitch or anything. Oh, and for context, Abby likes Nick. Well, actually, they like each other. In truth, I just wanted to fan the flames a little. Watching them stumble around each other like drunk jellyfish was exhausting. Poor kid was like a deer in headlights. It's cool though, they're smart. They'll get it. I bet they're out there in the woods right now, just absolutely going for it. Uh, no. Sadly not. Go up here. Anything? Guess we don't want to be there then. I hope I can't just walk off the bloody edge there because that would have been the height of hilarity, am I right? Like, I've had enough of this life. I'm just going to walk off this edge here and fall to my demise. Because. Fuck it, why not? Oh look, car keys. Police car keys. 
I think this might be one of those, I'm sorry, officer, I've no idea what you're talking about situations. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave those right there. Okay, we got car keys. Was that clues? These keys belong to the North Kill Police Department. What are they doing all the way out here on the island in the treehouse at Hackett's Quarry? Good question. And here we are, as promised, one extremely rickety and even more underwhelming treehouse. In another world, perhaps young Jacob and I would settle down here and play house together. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there, and oh look. It seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. Oh. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there? But I don't recognize this. Did you hear that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open the spooky trapdoor and die a horrible, painful death? There are literally no right answers. Snoop. Bag it is. And you know what? I'm putting some clothes on. This is all you're getting. Absolutely no way was I checking that trap door with what's going on. Mm. Damn. Fun. Okay, so I think there's something up there. And it is not going to make me jump, I can promise you that much. Goodbye, cruel world. The final curtain is calling and there's no time for an encore. Okay, uh, bear spray. Okay, that was sneaky. Actually, I got a sting. Yeah, absolutely do not want to run through that fucking oil. Oh, okay. Jesus, that thing looks savage. What the fuck is it? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is that like a werewolf or something? Easy. I got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? No, no, sorry, I'm just... I'm really hungry. We'll get you some food inside, okay? Yeah, okay. Come on, come on. Oh, 
Oh, man. I can eat a horse. Well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola? Oh, yuck, I hate granola. <laughs> Strength? Oh! Oh, man. Fucking get in. That was like s sneaky. This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something to eat. You and I are going to find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yep. We'll come meet you. Copy that. Do you think that whatever attacked them out there is, I don't know, has their scent or something? What? I don't know, like, what if it got a taste for blood and now it's gonna track them down? I, I doubt it. I just feel like if we stick with them, we're sitting ducks. I don't know. I really don't think that whatever attacked them out in the woods is gonna get into the lodge. Okay, yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, you're, you're probably right. <sighs> Come on, let's go call for backup. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No, did you? A couple times, yeah. Hmm. Where are you going? I, 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 I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. Oh dear. I don't think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. Let's be hopeful. Well, that's good news. Yeah. So what now? We gotta call for help. Who should I call? Uh, Mr. H? The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. You mean 911? Who says 911? <laughs> I don't know. I... Anyway, yeah, but like, what should I ask for? Like, police? Ambulance? Huh. Uh. Determined. Cops. With guns. We need a lot of backup out here. So they'll say, 911, what's your emergency? And then I say, uh, help, my friends may have been attacked by a bear, or maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And we're not sure how many there are out there or how smart they are. So it's very possible they might be mounting an attack on us right now, and we really need backup. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. Jesus. Okay. Nine one one. What's wrong? Dead. Uh, that's weird. Well, that's weird. Phones go dead sometimes out here. Right when you're about to call the cops, though. It's a coincidence. Did you try the hang-up thingy? What? Here. What are you doing? I don't know, it's what they do in movies when the phone goes dead. You tap on the little thingy. We're not in a movie. Okay, oh. well, you know, how do you know that? Maybe Close this is enough. what they want you to think, man. <laughs> You're in a video okay, game so movie. this phone's a no-go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably rig something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. 
Let's let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. Absolutely not. I will put it back when we're good and safe and help is on the way. Uh, okay, just careful with it. I'll be fine. Okay. Uh, it's it's probably the weather. What weather, Ryan? Maybe, maybe it was the bears. Bears. Jesus. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay, so for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power, what if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. We should probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. They're probably freaks. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's go. Oh my god. Yeah, we should probably leave that with Caitlin. Uh, defensive. Do you think she really needs it, though? Uh, she needs it just as much as we do. If she's staying in the lodge, we're going out there. You literally just said there might be something dangerous in the lodge. When? Like 20 seconds ago. Okay, sure, but that's because I really wanted the gun. Just give her the gun, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't think we're gonna need it. Uh, all right. You're right. Hey, we'll still have mine. If you're extra nice to me, I'll, I might let you hold it. Don't write a check that your ass can't cash. My ass has got quite the bank account. Am I interrupting something? Well, that was slightly awkward. Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it. Have we just sealed the fate of someone? Hackett's Quarry Island. Oh, we're back to Emma. Where shit was getting quite intense. The zipper line. Oh, that's real noisy. <sighs> no, we will remain stoic and patient. Oh, that fucking tongue hanging out, mate. Look at it. Ugh. There we go. We made it. Oh, play the patient game. God damn. You're struggling to get out of the water there, love. Come on. Ah, fuck. Damn it.
Now, maybe I should have used the taser and only one squirt of the bear spray. God damn! Oh, good to see you. Good to see you. <sighs> A time again, is it? Strength. Hmm. Strength can be surprising. Knowing one's own raw power, tapping into it, tapping into a previously unknown energy. I suppose there are forces at work within us all, and with one hand it gives, and with the other it could rip away. As always, there's more to see, and as always, the choice is yours. Would you like to see more? Oh, go on then. Oh, he's got some black eyes going on. What the hell is that shit? So it's goodbye again. I'll leave you with this. Remember who your friends are. Remember who's looking out for you. Oh dear. Right, well then folks, that's going to be the end of that instalment of The Quarry. When we return, we'll have to find out what's happened, or what's happening with Nick, rather. Um, Emma seems to have escaped her current fate. See what uh, happens to her, and will Jacob actually find Emma? Oh dear. The questions mount. Answers remain unanswered. No, wait. Questions remain unanswered. <laughs> Fucking hell. Right, anyway, folks. Y'all take it easy. I'll catch you all again in the next one. Bye-bye.